Welcome to Figure Talk Tuesdays. I'm your host, Godzilla Fan Freaks. And today, we are going to be taking a gander over here on and looking at the SH Monster Arts Mogura or Mogura, however you wish to pronounce it. So yes, this is the SH Monster Arts Mogura, one of SH Monster Arts' early figures. Uh, I believe this guy was... I want to say he was like the third or fourth figure in the line. He was pretty early on, but uh, overall, great, fantastic, fantastic figure. I mean, look at that long missile smoke um, trail. This guy has the most exaggerated missiles out of any effect part I've ever seen. Where did I get this figure? I got Mogira. A good amount of years ago off of Amazon when Amazon was you know first releasing the SH Monster Arts line back in the day my thoughts and opinions on it great great figure you know uh, Mogura from the 90s does not get enough love even Showa Mogura uh, doesn't get enough love these days uh, very underrated mech uh, for sure in my opinion What's a good price on this guy? Well, back when Mogira first came out, I think he was like $65 or $70. Uh, nowadays, you can uh, look to be paying quite a bit for this figure. I wanna say a good baseline would be 150 plus. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen this figure go for over 200 though these days in the aftermarket. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, but a good price for this guy, if you really, really wanted him, even though it's pretty steep, I'd still say like $120 is fair. That's if, that's like if I was to sell it, I'd probably sell it for 120, probably baseline 100 bucks. But again, you just have to ha you have to find that honest, fair fellow collector who's willing to sell. As far as aftermarket goes for anything Godzilla, um, good luck. How does it compare? I really don't have a lot of Mogira figures. I think he's legitimately my only one. Because I don't have the X Plus, I don't have the Bandai, I don't even have any minis. Yeah, this is my only Mogira figure now that I'm thinking about it. And then do I recommend? You know, at the end of the day, if you unless you really, really want the figure and can get it for a good deal, I'd say pass. You're not really missing much. You know, he's, he, he has limited articulation because, granted, it's SH Monster Arts. Mogira still has very limited articulation. Um, really, the beam effect, uh, the little buildings and street bases, along with these crazy long spiral grenade missile smoke trails that connect to his arms, that's really all the cool features he's got going for him. Um, you know, he doesn't split into two pieces, which is something you would think SH Monster Arts would have been capable of doing even back then when they were first starting this line. Um, it would have been cool to have a figure that splits and transforms, that's for sure. Uh, that would have even made some people double dip on this figure, considering myself, to just have one Mogira to display like this and then have the, uh, I think they just called it Ground Mogira, and then you had the, uh, Star Falcon. So, yeah, that just about does it for this episode of Figure Talk Tuesdays. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're Godzilla Fan Freaks. We'll see you in the next one.